Have you ever seen a list of facts and you've got to memorize 20 of them for a test? You waste all that time memorizing those 20 facts, you get it 100% on the test and then it's gone for forever. You're gonna have to study the exact same way again, right? With Thickmonic, you can entertain your way into those 20 facts and you can always just refer to a picture when you forget. The educators always struggle with complicated concepts and how to explain them and break them down in bites that students can handle. And this is a new tool that we can use to help do that successfully. It's the visuals, it's the stories, it's hearing someone's voice. Way, way, way more beneficial than just flipping through flashcards. Something that could be very helpful for nursing programs everywhere. It's something I wish I had as a student. Yes. <laughs>Hi there. My name is Ron Robertson. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Picmonic. And as a former medical student, I know firsthand how difficult it is to learn and retain complex information. There's simply too much of it and not enough time. And we're not just talking about learning to pass exams. We're talking about learning to become competent healthcare providers. So we started to turn to the neuroscience behind memory and learning and found out that if you take information and make it more sensory, you make it visual, you make it auditory, you make it emotion eliciting, that you'll actually remember it better. So that's exactly what we started to do. We took thousands of key facts and topics and concepts and turned them into characters and stories or picture mnemonics, picmonics. Now, I know it sounds a little crazy to be learning with cartoons, however, Picmonic is research proven to increase long-term memory retention by over 300% and increase test scores by over 50%. There's been 300,000 plus students who've used Picmonic in the last few years to improve courses, board exams, and ultimately become more successful in their clinical practice. So I'm going to pass this over to Marley who's going to dive a little bit deeper into the science behind Picmonic. Picmonic is a powerful multi-sensory learning platform designed for the development of long-lasting memories for all types of learners. And to do this, we leverage memory science. So let's talk about memory. The formation of memory actually has three components. We encode information, we store it, and then later we retrieve that information. So encoding, the first part of the process, all starts with our senses. So you really want to engage these senses and get them heightened when you're learning and you're studying. Now the brain actually processes information coming in through these senses in very different ways. And we'll talk about that with three memory phenomena that Picmonic utilizes in our product. So number one is dual coding theory. And this states that we process verbal and nonverbal information in different channels in our brain. So as an example, when I see a picture of a circle, that's gonna be processed and remembered differently than when I hear the word circle. So to form a really strong memory, you wanna use these channels in conjunction rather than individually. So I wanna see a picture of a circle while I hear the word circle. Number two is picture superiority effect. And this says that we remember images better than we remember text. Because text to the brain is boring and it's hard to decode and it's dull, but when the brain sees an image, it lights up and it gets excited. So if you can attach an abstract concept to an image, that's gonna provide you with a memory anchor and it'll be way easier for you to recall later on. And then finally, number three is von Ristorff effect. And this says that we remember things that stand out. We remember weird things. So if I have a list of four viruses that I have to remember and three are very similar, but one is different, then I'm more likely to remember that different one. Picmonic uses these memory phenomena to provide students with memory anchors, turning all the information they need to remember into crazy characters and then tying it all together into a story. Now let's talk about the third part of the memory formation process, retrieval. So as educators, I'm sure you're all aware of how ineffective passive learning is. And that's why we not only offer students the ability to add their own reference pictures, notes, and characters, but we also have our quiz feature, which ensures that your students are planting those memory anchors through interactive learning. Now here's the thing. As soon as we learn about information, we begin to forget it. And this happens very quickly. And this is what's called the forgetting curve. So to make a long-term memory, students should be reviewing their information spaced out over increasing intervals of time. The result from this is that every time that student reviews the information, the slope of the curve will become less and less until it's eventually stored as a long-term memory. 
And that's why Picmonic has incorporated space repetition algorithms into our learning system. So based on the progress from the students' quizzes, they're gonna be teed up with what they need to review when they need to review it. So now let's dive a little deeper with a demo from our art director, Johnny and Tony. Hey, thanks Marley. Now let's get a basic understanding of the Picmonic learning system with a quick tutorial. It's broken up into three different parts. Learn, quiz, and spaced repetition, designed to get students to efficiently form lasting memories. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is click on search in the top left nav bar. Let's type in something we wanna know, like vitamin K. The cards are gonna populate on your right hand side and just click on the card you want. This will bring up the first step in the Picmonic learning system, learn. Just press the blue play button, sit back and start learning. Vitamin K is an important fat soluble vitamin utilized in a variety of biochemical and hemostatic reactions, which is depicted in this Picmonic by the Viking King trying to rule his kingdom. The first thing you'll hear is the educational audio, which takes the high yield facts from this topic and relates them to the corresponding characters in the image. This will begin the development of your memory anchors. Now, when the educational audio ends, close your eyes, take a breath. Now open your eyes and the story audio will begin. After decades of pillaging and plundering, the Viking King has decided to settle down and coalesce his dominion into one unified country. But on his quest for peace and economic stability... The story audio is going to tie all the characters together. So when you can remember one of them, you can remember all of them. Now that those memory anchors are planted, we begin step two of the Picmonic learning system, the quiz. Picmonic's quiz is designed to efficiently increase the ability to recreate memories you just formed by asking you short recall questions. Need a hint? Take a look at the picture, see if you can remember the character. Need to show character? Just click on character hint. Your progress is tracked in the quiz, taking into account the questions you got right and the questions you got wrong. From there, we get into step three of our process, spaced repetition. Picmonic intelligently tees you up with a daily quiz using spaced repetition algorithms. These algorithms factor in the time since you last engaged with the content, your quiz accuracy, if you use hints, and more. On your home screen, there's the daily quiz space repetition tile. All you have to do is hit the green button every time you come back in to get those memories secured in the long term. And that's the basic flow of the Picmonic learning system. Pretty cool, right? But this still begs the question, what do we cover and how do I find it? Well, let's go through a quick search tutorial and find out. There are two major navigation paths, search and browse. To search, just click on the spotlight and start typing. In search, you can sort your content by everything, where you'll see pathways and picmonics, or just pathways, or just picmonics. You will also be able to filter your options through the different pathways picmonic offers. Next is browse, where the content is organized in predefined sets that we call pathways. Let's start by exploring courses. Here you can browse through the predefined pathways, find the one you want, and click Explore. Then click Show to see the set inside the pathway, and Explore to list the Picmonics. You can always move between the different sets of Picmonics with the Previous and Next button. And to get back to where you came from, just go ahead and click on the breadcrumbs up top. Now after courses we have the Body Systems pathway, where you can explore the entire Picmonic library through the different body systems. Next, you'll definitely want to check out books, so you can follow along page by page with the most popular up-to-date resources. When prepping for a big certification exam like Step 1 and 2 or the NCLEX for nursing, you can save time with these pre-made sets of high-yield Picmonics. Next up, we have My Playlists and My Picmonics, which you can also find in the main nav bar. We'll go over these topics in greater detail in a later tutorial. If you're interested, check them out. Now here at the bottom, the Everything Pathway is going to mirror the Spotlight Search, bringing it all full circle. Picmonic Search is designed to be fast and efficient, so you'll be able to find what you need when you need it. Now let's throw it back to Marley to show you how you might implement Picmonic in your classroom. As an educator, there's many options we have to help you increase classroom engagement. For example, walk through a Picmonic during class, Create playlists based on your syllabus so your students can follow along. Download Picmonic characters and use them in your PowerPoint slides to make your lectures more exciting. And you can even go so far as to create your own Picmonics so your unique teaching style and syllabus are covered. 
I've used it at two different universities now with different large groups of students and enjoyed it quite a bit. I think the students liked it. There was a lot of laughter, a lot of energy. Um, the graphics were incredible. It just kept my attention span focused in, in three minutes basically. I got to learn a whole chapter's worth of information. I was like, there's no way I'm going to learn these drugs. So I said, well, Picmonic works, let me try it. And when I tried it, I got every single quiz question right. And I thought it was so silly at the time, but holy crap, it got me the right answer. And that just kept happening over and over. In our academic student support center department, we promote active learning and Pigmonic is exactly in alignment with what we're teaching. Seeing the software in action and actually seeing those light bulb moments with students where they suddenly realized they could memorize things quickly using a new tool. It opened their eyes to a new way of learning and we have to teach them how they learn and they learn like this. I am wearing my Pigmonic shirt today ripping Pigmonic <laughs> because I think it's great. Pigmonic rocks. <laughs> I love Pigmonty. <laughs>